G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zaboodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Fists Only 2. It is a rather gorgeous sunrise over there, there are significantly less trees out there at the moment because I did have to go and dig up, ah uh, it's not in my pockets anymore, it's now in here, go and dig up or rather cut down a whole bunch of wood and to do so I've made myself a chainsaw. Had to go like slap a couple of things together, but it's fine. Given that like what I'm trying to build these days, I'm running out of wood so freaking quickly, plus all the fuel I need for all my frothy creation for you. Why are you in there? Did I put you in the wrong spot? I must have a taste for those frames back. You're cooking away. My forge is cooking away. My campfire is cooking away. I need fuel and I need building resources. So grab myself a cheeky chainy, not a bad shout. But one thing I also wanted to do this morning before I take off, I chucked in the Serrated Blade mod in my knuckles a long time ago, and I don't think I've ever seen any zombie get the bleeding wound. So instead, I'm gonna go back to the weighted head to add a chance to, sun, to stun even, and slow victims. In you go, that seems like a much better pill. Everything is repaired, everything is lovely. I'm ready to rock and roll, which means it's time to go treasure hunting. I tell you what, with all those trees now gone, it's looking very empty out there. I didn't realize how much of an impact I'd made until the god rays of the sunrise started peering through and it was much, much more open than it used to be. There's a lot of footsteps around it. Can you get the shit away from my gyrocopter, please? No, no. You can't fly that. If I can't fly that with my still mushy brain, you and your sogginess definitely can't. Loz is coming up to say good day. If you want to join me back down to the ground, though, please, that would be wonderful. I'll come up and join you then. Just. <laughs> All right, look, I often talk about slapping titties colloquially. That was about as literal as it's ever going to get. Let's move on from that one, though. Let's go find Sarah's treasure, man. Got to do that. Got to go see Jen and then go see Wayne's Manor. We're going to go fist Batman today. I'm excited about it. I don't think it's going to be really too much further. That was a bold flight line to take, but it's fine. We're going to weave our way through the rest of the trees and start angling down to find the golden circle of love somewhere out here. Can't be too far. Sure not too far on this ridge, maybe? Please. I'm gonna go. Oh, I've gone past it. I've gone past it. Swing her about. Sure, that will do. Just gonna find somewhere relatively close by. How am I? Oh, it was right there. It was right there. I am a soggy pancake. That is for sure. Flew right over the top of it. All right. August out for the boys, or for Sarah, rather. Says, where have you buried it? I'm here to stay. I actually quite enjoy going on treasure map hunts. Oh, actually, there's still one out in the wasteland, isn't there? Uh, that's a small problem. Small problem in a small tunnel that I can't put something down into. Hold on. Right in the bottom of your foot. Sorry, Achilles. One in the bottom, one in the top, and then a couple, couple of high fives along the way. All right, good and dead, good and dead. But yeah, I quite like the treasure hunts because they give me all the stones that I need, and I need plenty more concrete to try and make the Sphinx face a little bit more viable. Sure, I'm going to say Sphinx face these days. They just meld together, and all the syllables turn into one. Come on. Come on, Sarah. Where's the box of goodies? I don't want to be down here too long. Jen's waiting for me. I need it here. I need it now. Just not having much luck at all with this. Plus, once I find it, then I've got to pop it open so that there's another zombie out there somewhere. Hold on. I've excavated like... Thank you, DD. Like the entire freaking circle down here. Oh, you are taking the absolute PY number five there, says. That's definitely where the circle was a moment ago. G'day, g'day. Who is waiting for me out here? Didn't I murder you just a second ago? I feel like deja vu all of a sudden. Ooh, but this time you brought me presents. Dog food, thank you. I'll eat you. I'll take the rest. Uh, deeds, can I quickly grab those time charges out of you? Thank you. No use fucking about with the lockpicks. Just get in and get out nice and quickly. Once I find the bleeding thing, which so far is taking me way longer than I thought it would, should be like right here. Right bloody here, please. There you are, finally. It's still bloody locked. I'm two time charges down and it's still not letting me in. So, so much to go on you as well. How is it so hard to open a bloody, a, a tin box with a shape charge of C4? Do you only take one? And I'll not stop complaining about the time charge uh, mechanic until it's better. Uh, what's in you? Four grand, scrap you, scrap you. Take the rest, cheers, big ears. 
Not sure that was worth the fuel I used to dig it up, but you know what? Sometimes you win some, but a lot of the time you lose some. All that has been done in relatively short order. I have not landed that well at all. Completely whiffed. Complete. I mean, no, that's deliberate. I wanted to park on the ground, not up on the runway upstairs. That was exactly what I wanted to do the whole way along. You can hold on to that for me. Dees has got the central center. I'll put the rest of this garbage away. One of these days, I'll figure out how to fly that stupid spinny thing. But in the meantime, not happening. You are still working on froths and very bloody slowly. Jabruri is definitely taking its sweet ass time. Chuck the rest of you away. That can go into the mods box like that and you into the sellable stuff. There was something else I wanted to come home for as well. What was it? I don't remember now. I'm well fed. I'm well hydrated. What did I come back here for? What have I forgotten? Look, I don't super duper remember, so whatever. I'm just going to carry on like I didn't need to come home at all in the first place. Jump back on the gyro. Oh, no, I remember now. I <laughs> I remember now. Why is it? It's like walking into the kitchen and then forgetting why. And then as soon as you turn around and leave, you remember exactly why. Although then if you're me, you probably forget about that as well. Well, that's easy to cut in half, isn't it? Two, 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 two. Lovely. Get you crafted up so when you're done, I can make another 2,000 concrete, which given the fact that half of my things are built out of nothing but hopes and dreams and dental floss, that's going to be definitely worthwhile. In fact, given that that sand's only going to take like five minutes, I might quickly grab my hog again, my cheeky motorcycle. I'll use that to go see Jen, and I'll also uh, go do the vending machine run, or the full vending machine run, just like the main ones, that little line of them just there, because I'm still really short on scale crushes and if i have to run around like a partially decapitated chicken next time the horde comes through thank you very fucking much jen and dog food if i have to run around like a chook again on the next horde night i don't have skull crushes well, i may as well just fall over myself and die on the spot oh wait 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 i'll be right back I'm sorry, Yik. I know I'm holding the gubbins that you want, but you're just going to have to wait a second. I should go and get the XP goggles. I'm going to do that. It may not be much, but like 25,000 XP and extra 10% is another 2,500. Not going to say nah. For the sake of just wearing some different specs and getting me nerd on, Jen's into nerds, apparently. You need to lean into that. Before I forget as well, I do need more fort bites. Not in you. There's a bunch of those ones. Thank you. Thank God for the search bar. Thank you, Kane, again for that one. You can now go away. Lovely. All right. Oh, no, I don't need the Magnum. Magnum gives me no benefit. That's only for when I'm trading stuff. Got a discount out of that one. Jump back on you. All right, Jen. Please don't get confused. It is still me. I know I have some squinty specs on, but that has helped me see things better. All four eyes are only for Jen. Park up out the front. I'm on the barbed wire. I am back once again, Jenny girl. How I am? So this Amazing. time. I hope yep. you like your reward. I would like it to be in Barb Rolling Book form, please. But if not, I guess I'll take a much bigger and more impressive spear. If I Jen should tell me something. A tier 6 steel spear or three painkillers? One of these things is not like the other. I will take you. What jobs do you have? Fetch and clear I over at got a job or two. Skyscraper 2, which I think was actually... Oh, this is a dangerous which one were you actually? To, um, you, show on map. Get radiated. Is that an... An another? Another of the same? Hold on a second. That's... Wait, it's a Turgon... It's the old... Not the old. It's the new winter town up in the very northeast. And it does look like another crackable HQ. So not doing that one. All of these, I'm pretty sure... Look at all four kilometers away. I think Wayne Manor is a tier four. And where is it? It's... Kind of to the southeast, mostly east, so restore power. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Not, not going to happen. Not going to happen. And they're not in there either. Nope. All right. Never mind then, Jen. You restock tomorrow, I think. Yeah, you do. Don't All right. Don't let zombie dog bite you in the ass on your way out. Uh, listen. And if he does, thanks. <laughs> No, we'll Josh, no. It's fine, it's fine. You don't have to make that gag. Your son's eating that. No, Josh, don't. No, stop it, damn it, mate. Please try not to be too envious of my rather impressive ability to have self-control. Bending machine, health bar, always frothy, always sugar butts. Not always. I have multiple stacks of those back at home. Often they're rare as hen's teeth, but as we know with seven days, they're only rare when you actually need them. When you got a surplus, they're everywhere. Like freaking tacky boy rifles. Jailbreakers, no. Frothies, yes. 
Nothing else there is looking fun. One more. We'll just check the cracker book across the road. Then we'll start heading back and getting our cement on the crafts. You, you, four froffies and nothing. See? See what I mean? When I actually need skull crushers, they're nowhere. The game's just having a laugh. Oh, <laughs> so is my riding ability. Home, sweet home. You should be just about done by now. Look at the timing on the man. Look at the fucking timing on the man. With a couple of seconds to go. Thank you. And then we're going to go like half into you. One, 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 one. Craft. I still run XP gogs for extra good crafting time. Yeah, you crafting well. Still got like 5,000 cement remaining. Just no stones and no sand. Not the first one. I haven't had the stones for some, but that's okay. You can go down to there. I can whack you back on. And in fact, DD, do you want to hold one of these goggles for me? There you go. She's running out of storage space, but that's fine. These are all very much essential things for me. That can go away. Uh, health bars can go into the other box. Only there's like a 10 in there, I think. That should be good. Tier 6, in you go. Extra dosh, in you go. All right, ready to rock and roll. Let's go see Batman. I know that my base is kind of broken, but I'm really banking on my idea that like those pillars at the front, those horizontal pillars that keep the zombies at bay are just one block too far out and somehow blocking the zombies' brain stems to have them path up to where I need them to be. Well, that's exceptionally fun. I'm gonna head back out to the Pyre Forest where I can see things again. So I'm banking that that's going to be right. So when 1800 comes around and the thunders start clapping and I inevitably panic, ditch what I'm doing and head back to base to try and get my shit together. I can break, it's only three uh, like blocks there. I can break them, replace them with something better and get all my concrete just put on the craft and do the upgrades I need to do all before the horde actually shows up. There's not actually that much to do. I'm really hoping it's going to work out, but we'll only find out later on. Leave you just here. Oh, I've got my inventory nice and empty. Deeds is holding the rest of it. All right. Pat, pat, pat. We're ready to rock and roll. Let's go see what's happening. I just want to do this about as quickly as I can manage. Someone's grinding from that way. Oh, completely whiffed it. He just kind of jiggled himself to the right and a step to the left or wherever that goes and completely avoided all my knuckles of fury. Gone. But you know what? If you juke me like that, it only makes me more furious. And look, looks like Mr. Furious in Mystery Men. Occasionally, I'm going to pop off and really bend your pinky finger. What's in you? Anything fun? Give me, give me, give me. No, imagine that. Imagine if I find, after all these shenanigans, imagine if I find the bar rolling book just in someone's pocket at some point. That would be fun. I wouldn't have been upset. Feel free to give me that. I do really wish this had have been... Oh, g'day, everybody. This had have been a quest for Jen. Just so I could get all the red markers on... Missed it. On the, uh, on the compass to where the rest of the zombies are. I mean, it's borderline an exploit because it definitely helps out quite a lot, but I'm in no position to be that picky. You get out of the way, please. Foul trash. Couple of nails. Haven't nailed anything in a long time, so always good to find a couple for free. Anything in here? Not really, especially... Oh, my God, DD. You scared the utter piss out of me. Suddenly, something moving in my eye line. That's enough to make a boy pucker. Even though I have the chainsaw back at home. Ooh, yes, please. Thank you. Even though I do have that chainsaw now, and I could roll like auger chainsaw, I still think the steel axe is just more than capable of anything I'm going to need out of it. Like, it one-shots boxes. Why would I bother using a chainsaw for that? That's just kind of redundant. I, I, every single time, I still feel like, oh, more tough guy sunnies. So scrap it for the iron, actually. I know I could have sold it for 100 bucks, but that's fine. But every time I have to use the organ to beat open a door that's mostly dead already, it hurts me a little bit. Because the regular pickaxe would have worked fine for that. Now I'm just being wasteful. I'm still trying to push. Nah, nah, nah. It's fine, deeds. Oh, it's slightly less fine, but now we're all good. A thick bonk on helmet head. He's still not dead, though. Jeez, those military helmets are really worth something, aren't they? I mean, mine's a little thicker. <laughs> Well, I've got a thicker helmet head than you do. Get fucking wrecked, Jigglypuff. But I'm not going to preach to the bleachers about that one. Don't need the lead. That's fine. But I am trying to push through here about as quick as I can. Is that just... I'm just kicking the body around? <laughs> All right, that's a little rude, Josh. Let him lie in peace after you eviscerated his noodle. But I am very aware... Purple die. I can actually take you for my chainsaw. Very aware that I'm running out of time. If I do have to leave this place, I don't want to leave it unfinished. I just don't like leaving things undone. You know, I want to take the cookies out of the oven when it's well and truly baked and not when it's still a bit gooey. I want them crispy. There's a few zombies around just enjoying a nice, I was going to say mid-afternoon stroll, a nice midday stroll. Oh, I'm going to interrupt you. 
Any bin chooks? No, I can't say that anymore. I can. I am now on Team Ibis since they have suddenly figured out how to eat cane toads, which are a far bigger menace to everyone involved. That was dangerous as shit. I'm definitely on board Team Ibis. Like, you know, I'll sacrifice all of my picnics happily if they're going to rid us of the cane toad blight. So, hang on a second. I'll call them pelicans instead. Drop. I feel like those that waited ahead mod is doing much better things for me than the bleeding mod ever bloody did. Good change going back to it. Oh, we're almost to the library. We're almost to the library, the place of all the knowledge. That's what's getting me frothy. I'm so excited for it. It would not surprise me if this joint is harboring a, um, a rad somewhere. Shh. Shut up. Didn't, didn't I get the book that meant I could traverse that shit and not make a ruckus? It's in urban combat. I'm fairly sure it is, isn't it? Sneak? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, well, clearly not because I was kicking cans and making all sorts of sounds like I'm singing a freaking queen song. I'm going to froth up in anticipation for this getting real rowdy. No one's there. Sit you. Extra sit you. Don't bother getting up there, champion. Stuck behind the black ball like a Bart Simpson getting confused. Is that it, though? I mean, I know it's only the pine forest, but even so, I would have thought it'd be more than that, but look at all the bookshelves. Look at all the bookshelves you got for me. That's enough to make a grown man stand to attention. All right, fair enough then, Schlock and Messiah. What have you got? That probably wasn't worth the froth, but when you're as froth rich as I am, you're happy to make the expenditure. It has not gone especially well at all so far. I found a whole lot of nothing. Very disappointing. Couple of things that I've already read. Lots of paper, don't need you. In fact, most of that's pretty bang average. You're only worth 50 bucks, I'll just read you anyway. That's fine. Couple of books I've already read. Some schematics I've already read. Schematics are worth more than books. Good to keep in mind. Last couple of bookshelves, though. Schematic I've already read. Schematic I haven't read. Interesting. In fact, making those magazine extenders for some of the guns and things I want to sell. The tier sixes. Not a bad shout. And another schematic I've already read. All right, that's it. That's all she wrote. In fact, it literally is because there's no other books. <gasps> Could it be? Could it be? Give me the book! No! Damn it, I thought that was too good to be interested. I got all sorts of excited about it. One day, one day it's going to give what I'm after and I'm going to be absolutely naked about it. Peakier than the awful tower in a snowstorm. Just a savage country box up in the attic as well. Quickly grab you. Should be a secret stash if we're being real. Bow parts, no thank you. Anything in the purse? Just some pears and some dosh. All right, fair enough then. Uh, I think we're all good to go then. Nothing else to loot, nothing else to raid. I will grab you lot though, because I do need the stones for my concrete production. And in fact, might actually be worth me holding onto the cobblestone as well. Don't want to be caught shy on them either. Making our way down into the caverns down below. Yeah, no, no, I know, that's fine. I'm going to froth up immediately because this first little hiccup here is usually a bit rowdy. Or maybe not this time. Hello. I know I'm crouching. I'm trying to be a little bit stealthy. It doesn't really work in my favor most of the... Okay, fair enough. Then they were just completely distracted by beating on some pebbles. Dead. Missed. All right. That was an interesting maneuver. But you know what? You did manage to avoid the knuckles. So I guess I can't really uh, judge you too harshly. It's not stupid if it works. Someone's mad upstairs. Do not give any sort of a shit about it though. Scrap you. Eat the peas. Take the rest. Scrap that can as well before I forget. In fact, DD, this is all getting a little bit hackers down. Is you want to hold on to all of that shit for me? Thank you very much, Lee. I'm going to try and make as good a use as my froths as I can. There's usually a few. Just wait here for a tick. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. In fact, what were you guys thinking? Let me just get the finger paintings off the walls that's now written in your brain blood. Nice and quick. Search the lockers for more steel armor parts. Lovely, lovely. That's what you like to see. I mean, look, I'm a bee's dick away from the next level up. And when I get that, it's another letterman jacket, actually. I'll look at you in a second. When I get that, I'm going to have four skill points to spend, which means one to tier five, two to tier six, and then the goggles, sorry, the cigar gives me tier seven, which means the fourth goes into heavy armor, into that one. If I can do it now, you... Buy that. Buy that. So the next point I get, straight into heavy armor. And it's going to be glorious. It's going to be absolutely stinking glorious. Very excited to finally have that rocking and rolling. Everybody, please wake up. Oh, I've run out of froth. <laughs> That's okay, apparently. Who? Ow, oh, damn it. I was going to say, who needs froths? Clearly, I need froths. 
Can the rest of you guys please all wake up? We'll have to do to get your attention. There you go. Now they are rocking and rolling. Yeah, nah. Thanks, Deeds. Sammy, too late on putting you down. That's my bad. We'll not blame you for that one. That was 100% my banana. You dead. All right, Sammy, you know what? Just come with me. Just come with me. I chucked it down for no bloody reason. Got you excited for nothing. Not quite dead. Not quite dead. Definitely dead. Bonzo, mate. Level up. That's what we wanted. You, you, heavy armor. Boom. Done. Absolutely done. Like a well done bunning snag. Where are you? Sex Rex as well. The next level up is going into that one because 30 stamina per kill. Absolutely right of a time. I'm glad I restocked deeds with all the things that we're going to need. That's a regular businessman in the vat. Normally that's a rat or something particularly horrific, but it's just a regular business boy. I was going to say, like, thank God I, uh, I restocked deeds with all like, the skull crushes or whatnot, but I may not actually need them at all if that's what's waiting for me. Take all of you. That's fine. Take the acid out of you as well. Thank you very much. That book is a godsend. Scrap you, scrap you. Take that to sell. Medical pile. Take that as well. I can now make my own first aid kit, so probably worth a shout making someone to get back home again. Take all of that off me. Thank you. And do I... Do I do it? I reckon I go the skull crushes. I just won't go the four parts. Don't take any chances here. We'll get some more skull crushes later. Froth up, so we have all the extra damage a boy could want. How much is it actually? I I don't actually know. Hang on, does it say does it say it's on the actual candy? I'm wasting my time by reading things. Plus fifty percent. So yeah, it's a lot. It's a bloody lot. G'day everyone! Oh, thank God I did too. Thank God I did too, because there's a lot of rads. Take over behind DD. Deeds just watched him go straight on past. Oh yep. Alright, this um this was a choice. This was certainly a choice, and it was probably wasn't a good one. That's a lot of them. I'm going to focus on what I can kill. The more zombies I can kill early, the better for everyone. Full-fledged first aid kit to try and get my health regen as good as possible. Keep on moving, keep on moving, keep on moving. Straight through the gap. Ow, Arlene. Damn it, Arlene. Come on, Sammy. You and me, I need your help. Sammy's just going to watch me die instead. Damn it. I've got a hurt arm. Got a hurt arm. I don't have any steroids on me, I don't think. Close the door. Arlene made it through. Rude as fuck. Go away, Arlene. Do I have any steroids? They're all in DD. They're all in freaking DD. You, real quick there before they get through the wall. Slap that in immediately so I can throw some hands without any repercussions. Speed repercussions, though. Or oh, make it through. Make it through. Nice and open. Dead. Dead. Not quite dead. Oh, you need to sit down. That rad bloody um, radiation suit guy has been a real big problem. I don't know what to bloody call him. A rad rad? Not sure. He's not that radical. Drop. Not quite dead. He's gone grouping. He's not dead, though. Deeds, get the fuck out of the way, please. Drop you. Can't hit you because I'm tripping over the freaking train tracks. Oh, my God. Right. Fair to say the old um, Skull Crushers was a definite good decision. That got rowdy. That sucked. Big shout out to DD for keeping me alive. That's why it's such a good idea. It's something I haven't really done in the past, but such a good idea to have like some essentials in DD. If I need something desperately, she's got what I'm after. And she's usually only a couple of steps away from me or more often than not immediately in front of my face and causing me problems. Thank you, Deeds. I'll grab all this cobblestone away through as well. Waste not whatnot and all that. Grab all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was way too intense. My heart rate's still a fluttering. Wasn't really anything else for me to raid, so we're all good to go. Just, ah, uh, can't quite pop you over, but two swings is fine. Shotgun Messiah, pop, uh, passing gas, crack a book, no popping pills. No popping pills. The one box I'm actually frothy for, not in here at all. You. Yeah, we'll just pick. The frickin' the time charges take so freaking long on the um on the hardened chest. It's just like you need like a whole stack of six of them. Although to be fair, I don't have that many lock picks, and I do have a whole stack of seven of them. So alrighty, died then. Let's give them a whirl instead. Boop, boop, boop. And just chuck you down. Only gonna go one at a time and see how long it takes for this thing to actually pop open. Which, by the way, I know that like um the time charges are designed to not damage anything other than the block they're standing next to. I just can't... There's something deep down inside me that refuses to let me stand next to an explosion like that. I'd rather take a few steps away and take cover and not risk losing a permadeath series just because I was too arrogant to move away. If this time charge doesn't work, then I'm down to my very last one. What did I say? A stack of six and it was actually six. 
Oh, sometimes I impress myself with just how right I am. What are gonna do with this one though? Boop, boop, boop. Just like waste it. Just pop open that door. That's fine. Waste not, what not for every inventory space. Not even enough to like break down a big doorway either. All right, fair enough then. Yet another disappointment that comes in the form of a shaped C4 charge. What's in you? Nothing. Scrap you for the lead. Anything in you? Scrap you. Take the rest. Passing gas. Nothing much in you either. That is deeply upsetting. Nothing in you either. I know I'm expecting like good loot because I'm still in the pine forest. In fact, what's my loot stage in here? 88 and that's it. I could have popped like a, um, a loot and candy and loot and goggles and got myself up above 100, but too late for that now. What's in the hardened chests? <laughs> 10 time charges. Thank you for that. And not a lot else. Well, I came here explicitly for the brawling book and you sent me packing with nothing. Master, we are not alone. Yeah, no, I know. Just seven days things. I've actually done all of that. My arm's about to heal. Those steroids were a good call. I've done all of that before uh, 1800, before the Horde Night warning would actually start setting in. So that's a pretty good effort by me. Get out of the fog. Is the winter any foggier or more visible? It is more visible, weirdly. I'll have a quick little flyover, see if there's anything that's tempting me at all. Because at this point, even just like a regular raid somewhere, like not even like a specialty raid, just anything that might have a, a pop and pills box in the end of it might be worth the shouts. Anything at all. Anything at all is getting me excited, like a vet, actually. Have I raided these vets? I can see... The oh, yeah, I have too. Look, all the loot crates over here already popped. So I've been through here before, but... That's a good example of somewhere I've been overlooking. All right, let's go have a look-see. Let's go see what other places might have popping pills boxes because I'm thirsty for the knowledge. You know what? I've got a good feeling about this Fates Motel. I've passed it by several times in the past, but no longer. You can just pop down there. Gonna chuck whatever I can into the gyro's pockets. You take all of that. Uh, DD, give me all your garments as well. We'll try and empty you out. Leave the good stuff at the top. Take all of you. And in fact, I'll restock you with those time charges that I chucked into the gyro. Take that. Swap over you for all of that. Idiots. No, you can have that one and that one, I guess. Guess the rest of this shit is coming with me as well. All right, that's fine. You hold on to these. Guess I need them later. Thank you very much. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough time to raid this whole job. I'm going to give it my reddest and hottest of cracks. Is the vending machine working? It is for... Cheeky Froffy. All right, not too bad. Restock on you. Jailbreakers, I'm not sure of. No, DNA's got the time charges anyway, so that's not important. Anything in you? Anyone hiding? Check the sink for just some of that. Scrap you for the iron. That's all good. My inventory's all sorts of messed up. All right, check every single room that we're getting to the roof because one of these, I think it's this one actually, it's another cracker book box. Damn it. Where's all the medical supplies? Cheeky weapons bag, excuse me, DD. What have you got for me? A titty slapping Terry the turret. All right, not too bad. I'll take you. In fact, I can, I can scrap you apart for robotics parts. I don't think I actually need them anymore. I think now I've got my DD rocking and rolling, and I haven't put any points into um, robotics for a little while. I think we're fine on that. Anything in you? Another grill. Don't need the lead. No, I don't need grills, do I? I needed the grill when I was over in the other winter town, not in this one. Front room, already raided. Someone's been through the cash register early on. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? World's ending, let's get money. That makes total sense. Probably didn't need to slither through the roof like I have. Could have just gone through the hatch down here, but whatever, we've made it here now. What have you got? Polymer string mod schematic. Actually, not too bad, because then I can make some mods for bows. I typically don't have many of. It's getting very bright out here, and also, at the same time, dark... Which I know is a, um, I've just contradicted myself, but whatever. Too late for that now. Quickly scratch of the nose and frothies up. There's usually a bit of ruckus to be had down here and I'm ready for it. Take you. Nothing else. G'day, g'day. Loz up. Gone. No other friends for Loz. That, that tracks. That's fine. See, I missed being able to like pop noggins through those little like windows like that. That was, oh jeez, old mate just yeeted ScoMo right out of the way. And I can't really say that I blame him. Best ScoMo is a, a, a melon squished ScoMo. Take all of that. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Anyone else in here? Just mother random garbage, but that's fine. I'm gonna go as quick as I can, make use of all of my froth. Nothing to worry about. Just a big jiggly bitch who is now definitely dead. He will jiggle no more, only in the afterlife or 
Whatever comes after the zombie life, you know what I mean. Anything sneaky back there? No. I'm still got. Oh, that's a big juice. Is that coal? Yeah, it is. All right. Well, Skomo, you've been naughty for a lot of Christmases in a row. This is how much coal you've been given over the trip. Skomo does love coal, though. Boy, there's some backstory there I'm not getting into. Ah, right, well, moving on. Anything else for me? No, nothing there. I did leave a lot of the good shit behind. Can I get to you, please? Cheeky sack of food. Nice and warmed up. Can of miso soup and a cheeky coffee. You don't mind if I do. It's getting a little bit late in the day, so I'm going to keep on moving as quick as I can, like I'm a very frightened Australian gingerbread man. Master, we are not alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where from, though? Like, could you, like, be like, Oi, dickhead, look to your left or look to your right or just, like, something along the lines of try not to die. Not just, ah, you're fucked, buddy. Like, yeah, nah, cheers. Thanks for that one. Cheeky sham chatter straight in me gob hole. I'll save that red tea for what I assume is going to happen to me after I've uh, finished digesting all of those steroids. Take all of you. Any extra coffees? No, thanks. Nothing at all. Nothing else good. Get all the tin cans. You just scrap them all, but at the moment, busy scrapping cement into stones for future me to use. I'm a bit low on froth, so real quick. If I'm a bit low, I'm completely out of froth. So that's not a way that any Australian should ever be. Gone. Nothing else for me. Wooden desk. Any books? Nope, just some pipes. All right, all get piped then. No more books around the place at all, is there? All right, up we go. Got an hour to go to get through to the loot room behind that wall. I'm confident. I'm brash and abrasive. Should be able to get it done. Sit you down like the big empty tin of caviar that you wish you were. Take all of that. I don't need the lead, though. That can... Oh, I've got lots of it, actually. I'll keep it with me. Turn that all into duct tape, though. Thank you. All right. Who else is here? Who else needs to die? No one's left any books for me. That's heck and bloody rude. Tier 3 sledging. Can sell that for a couple of dollar dues. All right, here we go. Just get through the last couple of rooms, then we're good. Oh, that's a copper. Never mind. It's fine. I fought the law, and for once, I won. Set up. Dead again. Good God, these nucks are good. When you've got all the things... Thank you very much for the froth. When you've got all the things working for you, who we is at a good time just to rearrange several people's brain matter one after the other? I'll turn yeah, that into duct tape. That's fine. Frames. Yep, sure. Duct tape as well. Wherever that went. You. Nice. Half an hour left. 30 seconds left on the old froths. I'm out of juice for my organ. And unlike a shovel, I can't just keep using it. So we're going to have to leave all this stuff by the long side. Anyone here? No one there? 20 seconds. 20 seconds on the froth. Get rowdy. Sit down. Sit. An extra sit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love it. I love bees. I've put in a fresh froth to get to the last room because I think I've got like just this guy and then it's the loot room that is also full of zombies. Nice and good and dead. Anything sneaking in there? There was. I'm not going to go for that one. All right. Here we go. Anything in you. It's about to be night time. Let's do it nice and early. G'day, g'day. How's it going? All right. Jeez, no need to get that low on your bow. Just a little nice and like courteous tip of the head is enough for me. And we're done. We're done. Right as the night time falls, there is no pop and pills boxes. There's plenty of others, though. Stitched up again. Stitched up again. Take you. Yeah, not nah, short, whatever. Shotgun to the side. What are you going to give me? Nothing. Electronics box. What are you going to give me? Mm, also nothing. I can't even fit all that garbage in me anyway. So I'll quickly turn some of that into frames. Thank you. Deez, you're going to hold on to the rest of this shit for me. Thank you. Nice. Savage Country. I think you might give me a book, but I don't have high hopes. Nothing in you anyway, but I think I can actually find a home for you. You already got one. You do not have one. Here you go. Lovely. Fully kitted out. So all that's left is just the weapons bag and the reinforced chests. Do I go the lockpick? Or do I go the broomsticks? Oh, I can broomsticks. Make use of them, Josh. You got them. Why not? Let's get in nice and quick. With the boop, boop, boop. Despite my best efforts, it still took two to get into you. I think it's like if you spec into explosives, it does more damage. But even then, like, shouldn't it be lockpicking that they do more damage? I don't know. It's still not worth the, the skill point. Either way, you spread it. Uh, you. Treasure map, some lockpicks, and some booty boys. All right, fair whackers, knackers. You read that. Nice and quick. Where are you sending me, Raph? All the way out to a lake bed. 
probably not going to go dig up that one anytime soon. I still have the other one all the way down here. Says is out in the wasteland. I think the time has come. The time has come. I think we've got to go for it. I'm going to go to the wasteland and see if that's going to give what I'm after. Because everything up north is just giving me donuts. Can I get out of here, please? Excuse me. One more. One more. Nice. There we go. Old mate's out here causing a ruckus. G'day, bud. How are you? Catch your bloody later. I'm going home. Well, I've got clear skies. I just wanted a quick little squiz about to see if there was potentially uh, another vet or something down here, but it doesn't look like I've got any sauce on my snag. Alrighty, righty, then. Let's go home. It is... Yeah, look at that. That treasure map is genuinely at the bottom of a lake. It does mean I don't have to dig it up, but it also means I have to go swimming for it, which... I reckon we will. I reckon we will. If I don't have to dig it up, I don't need fuel in my in my auger. I can get the um, explosive charges out of deeds. Swim down. Boop, boop, boop. Ditch, ditch, ditch. Get to the surface, maybe even. Or they get like a minute underwater before you start dying. It might work. This might actually work. Uh, go down low. DD, please stay with me because you have the time charges that I need. I reckon I can make this happen. Immediate treasure hunt, not too shabby. We are going to make use of the oft-overlooked ability of the gyro to turn into a submarine. Nose up a bit. Straight underwater and... Oh, okay. I've been to that quite considerably. Hold on. Hold on a second. You've got to keep moving at the gyro to go down. Otherwise, it does kind of float like a boat. Nose dive. Straight in. That'll do. Oh, I'm a little... Bit... No way. No way. How did you... How did you bury it? How did you bury it when it's underwater? You must bury it before the world ended or you got some sick as dick's fucking scuba gear or something. Oh, look, a bear's going for the treasure as well. It's all yours, knackers. Use those big meat spades to dig it up nice and quickly. What a stitch up. I thought it was going to be nice and easy, a nice quick treasure run, but nah, it's underneath the deck. Rude. You know what, actually? I'm so annoyed. I'm doing a U bag. I'm heading back again. I'm umming and ahhing and flipping and flopping all over the shop like a very loose thong on a summer's day. I'm going to get back there, though, and get the fuel out of my gyro to power my organ. Because if I can get underneath the deck, I can, like, make myself a nice little air pocket. There's a mountain lion out here. There's a fucking mountain lion out here. You joking? Come on, easy. That's some good flying. Right about there ought to do it. Sink to the bottom, please. Use the dry to get there nice and quickly. You, give me that. That'll do. And quickly give myself an air pocket to breathe in. We're going. We're going. Hope for the mountain lion. Can't swim down below. Maybe a mountain lion's got a scuba suit. Who freaking knows? Here we go. Just like that. All right. Game on. I'm here with a vengeance. I'm not here to fuck any spiders, nor even really flirt with any one of their legs. That's the yellow circle on that side. I'm just taking the clay soil now, not worrying about the stones. That way it looks like the way it's asking me to go. Straight on in, please. Nice and quick. Fast treasures are good, treasure. DD's joining me down in the depths. The subterranean adventure. Love to see it, Deeds. Another yellow circle. It's like it's got to be here, right? Somewhere? Yes, no, maybe. I don't know. Can you repeat the freaking question, please? How do I always struggle so much with this? It's so close in. There it is, finally. All right. You, look, you're taking some liberties here. You're taking some liberties with what inside the circle actually means. Deeds, give me that. Thank you. I'm going to real quick grab this before the mountain lion finds me in the hole. Boop, boop, boop. I'm not going to go the doubler because I just don't want to take the chance of accidentally breaking it. You're fine. Extra one. It should only be two. No, extra count. Almost ran straight into the explosion. Nice and open. Scrap you, scrap you, and take the rest. That wasn't particularly worthwhile, but at least I ticked it off. Now, as we do, got to get up and out. Out. I don't know how I've broken... <laughs> I've utterly spattered the water physics, but all right then. Build myself a little chute to get up out into the, into the wet stuff, and up we go. Please don't drive into the hole. Just get some speed, and... There you go. We'll start floating. Lovely, lovely. No shit, I'm cold. I went swimming in a snowstorm. I'm not clever, but, well, I had something to do down there. Don't ask what. It's very foggy. I'm going to try and land on the top of my base anyway. Oh, I'm coming a little bit low. A little bit low. Pull up. 
Little bit low, my fucking gooch hole. Absolutely perfect. Chuck the shit I need to chuck away. My frame rate's kind of ass. There might be a lot of zombies nearby, but I give absolutely no fucks about that right now. You take all that sellable garbage. Sell those, sell those. Gold nuggies worth a good amount. It is also trading restock day, like today now. It's after midnight. So going and selling all my gums to trading, gonna be a good time. And then I think it's time to go to the wasteland. What a good adventure that's been. Gotta make sure we do the most important thing we can though. Chainsaw, please come here. So when I do need some wood later, you can be as nice and wooden as I'm gonna be. Holding a big throbbing pur and purple thing. Look at it, much better in purple than it ever was before. Nice, you can now go back away. I'll swap it back out for my org. That's normally what I need. I can start getting ready for tomorrow's adventures. So we're gonna go. It is trade today, so we'll go see Jen, that's fine. We might either go like Jen Huzz and then start making our way down here. There's another Jolly there. I think there's another trader here somewhere. Was it? If there was, I haven't marked, which is unusual for me. I want to go and get Sarah's treasure map as well. And one of these cities down here was like a big proper city. And I reckon that's where I have to go to try and find that book. So that's going to be my mission for tomorrow. We'll have to take off and set about that mission in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page, the Patreon, who made this episode possible. If you all like to make sure the like button down below, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.